Horses are on the track for race seven. Time to meet the starters for the County Fair Challenge at DeCoin for Illinois bred two-year-old pacing fillies for a purse of $15,000. Number one, Time for Joy, owned by Orville Rush of Taylor Ridge, Brad Williams of Davenport, Iowa, Gary Williams of Milan, Illinois, trained by Brandon Alford. The driver is Pat DeLong. Couple in the wagering, 1A, Mrs. Grant, four. Races for the same ownership and same trainer, the driver, Dave McGee. Number two, Golden Finale, is owned by Mary Lee Jeffers of Flat Rock, trained by Ray Hanna. The driver is Tom Simmons. Number three, Madam Mack is owned by Larry and Michelle Binkley of Charleston, trained by Henning, Tennessee native Larry Binkley, and he is the driver. Number four, Torpedo Wave is owned by Stephen Renard of Hamilton, trained and driven by Mount Sterling's Alan Bowen. Number five, Can Wheel, owned by Tom and Sally Amundsen and Jay DeLong, all of Clinton, Wisconsin, trained by Jay DeLong, the driver Tom Bussey. Six, a Waring Ledoux is owned by Ron and Dee Phillips of Petersburg and Jesse Fergie of Platteville, Colorado, trained by Mike Rogers, the driver Ron Marsh. Number seven, Fox Valley Catch Me is owned by Gary Kimbrough of Browning and Danny Moore of Rushville, trained by Danny Moore, the driver Andy Miller. Number eight, Jenny's Picnic is owned by Bart Seals of Altamont and Sean Nessa from right here in DuCoin, trained by Iowa native Sean Nessa, the driver is Michael Osting. And number nine, Velvet Legacy, owned by Dale Edwards of Carrollton. The trainer is Sean Walker, and his father, Tom Walker, is the driver. Win, place, show, exact a wagering post time in only three minutes at DuCoin. From the State Fair Sophomore Philly Pace Championship, all of that on Friday, beginning at 12 noon. Right now, they're at the post at DuCoin for race seven, the County Fair Challenge for Illinois-bred two-year-old pacing Phillies. Here they come. They are off and pacing, and there goes a Waring Ledoux for the lead. Jenny's Picnic is going to go right with her. These two come to the front, followed by Golden Finale against the rail as they thunder into the first turn. A Waring Ledoux is against the rail now, leading it by a length, and Jenny's Picnic is parked midway on the turn in second. Golden Finale will travel in the third position, followed by Mrs. Grant Four, who is fourth, then Torpedo Wave, Velvet Legacy, and Madam Mack past the opening quarter in 26 and four. One of the fastest opening quarters in the history of the County Fair Challenge. And Jenny's picnic was parked for all of it, and she's still parked, leading at three parts of a length. A Waring Ledoux is second on the back stretch. Then Golden Finale is racing in third, followed by Mrs. Grant four. Madam Mack moves up on the outside, five lengths off the lead. Velvet Legacy follows her cover. Then Torpedo Wave can wheel against the rail who is followed by Fox Valley Catch Me up on the outside, seven lengths off the leader, and Time for Joy moves up with cover from last behind her. It's nine lengths from front to back, the half in a blistering 55 seconds. Jenny's Picnic leads it, but Golden Finale is moving by her on the outside. Golden Finale, the new leader, Madam Mack, moves up into second. Jenny's Picnic shuffled to third. Velvet Legacy is fourth. She's still four lengths off the lead. Fox Valley Catch Me behind her. A wearing Ledoux drops back along the rail, then Time for Joy on the outside. Golden Finale leads it a length and a half, two lengths clear at the three quarters of Madam Mac Velvet Legacy and Fox Valley Catch Me. Three quarters and 124 and four fifths. Turning for home, Golden Finale, a two length lead. Madam Mac is second, a half length, then Velvet Legacy up on the outside, followed by Fox Valley Catch Me as they move by the eighth pole. And then Can Wheel on the grandstand side. Inside the eighth pole, Golden Finale, short lead. Can Wheel is coming late. Can Wheel is charging. Velvet Legacy third. Can Wheel with a tremendous rush from deep in the pack can wield to spring the upset in the county fair challenge she wins it by two lengths golden finale was second ahead over velvet legacy and third the time 155 and two In the photo for place, number two, Golden Finale, second. Number nine, Velvet Legacy was third. And number three, Madam Mack was fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, owned by Tom and Sally Amundsen and Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin, trained by Jay, driven by Tom Bussey. How about a hand for Can Wheel? Phil Pierce making that trophy presentation. Thank you, Phil. Good to see you. Let's talk to Mr. Jay DeLong. He's our winning co-owner and trainer. Jay, I got to tell you, I, 
was a little surprised, quite frankly. This filly's been awfully good at the fairs. I was surprised she got away at 26 to 1. Was, was the plan to lay back off the pace? Because if it was to lay off the pace, you had to love those fractions when you saw them come up. Oh, yeah, that was the plan. <laughs> We weren't going for the lead in this race, were we? No, we were just holding back till the very end, just like you say. <laughs> Jay, I know that uh, you, you live in Wisconsin. You're a Wisconsin native. You've got a, uh, a family business up there that ties in directly to agriculture with uh, international exporting of grain and things of that nature. But harness racing, you've gotten very involved in Illinois in the last several years. Why is that, Jay? Uh, we have a lot of kids, and uh, we enjoy it. So we keep trying to improve every year, and this is, a, <laughs> this is fun when the county fair challenge and we're glad you're here jay congratulations thank you that's jay delong folks he's our winning co-owner and trainer in tonight's county fair challenge for two-year-old pacing fillies